what's up guys this is Jeremy and thanks for tuning into yes we see tech talk I got a chance to go to the Sony 2014 dealer show today here in Toronto and um, I got a chance to look at some of their new lineup for of TVs um, high-res audio systems blu-ray players their new uh, Xperia Z2 tablets and the Xperia Z2 smartphone itself um, their, their VIOs and uh, a few other products there um, as far as their lineup goes and um, unfortunately due to I guess time constraints I wasn't able to get as much footage as I could so I do apologize for that but I will put up what I do have um, and some more videos to come of course on some of the uh, Sony devices and um, so let's just go ahead and get into it all right so the TV that we're actually looking at here is the uh, XBR 79 X 900 B so this is Sony's new 79 inch 4K television. Um, great set, very crystal clear uh, picture. Now it, it features uh, their, uh, their wedge design, uh, which is able to, which allows Sony to actually put bigger uh, speakers there for the magnetic fluid speakers, um, giving you more bass and sound um, out of that TV itself without the need of any sound bar or a home theater system for those of you, of you that I guess don't, don't want a sound system. Now, um, if you're anything like me, you're kind of on the fence uh, regarding their uh, wedge design as to how it would look. Uh, if you think that it's kind of stepping back and making you know the TV look bigger and everything like that. But um, after seeing it in person, actually, uh, I must say, uh, Sony did a great job with implementing the wedge design in these televisions. It actually looks great. I have no complaints with, as far as the looks go um, with the uh, wedge design there. Um, Going back to the uh, picture now, if you haven't heard of uh, 4K for whatever reasons, um, now's your time to kind of go to your nearest Sony store or Best Buy and kind of take a look at the new 4K technology and see why um, there's so much buzz behind these televisions. I mean, the picture is amazing. It, it's, that, it's that clear, guys. I mean, I was, you can stand right in front of the television and not see a pixel. I mean, it's that clear. Blu-rays look amazing. Um, even 1080p content that's been upscaled looks amazing on here. Um, there's not really any 4K content um, at the moment, but there's a lot of things coming down the lines. I know even um, Netflix have added some uh, 4K content uh, for United States and things like that that they're actually going to be implementing this year. They have announced already, and some other providers um, are going to be adding some 4K now. Uh, Sony being one of the uh, big pushers of 4K um, as they create 4K content they make the 4K televisions themselves and um, they're a big campaign on everything 4K that they have been pushing from 2013 moving on to 2014 now um, there's a lot more to look at um, I guess to come from uh, 4K so if you want to be one of those early adapters and you haven't adapted from to the 2013 models I guess this is this will be your year to really you know go ahead and shop for that television that 4k television that you want um, I said if you don't want 4k and you, you, you don't want to adapt early there are 1080, 1080p televisions that they do that they didn't make this year as well um, but going back into the, um, the television now um, it does include their triluminous display so if you're not familiar with last year around the triluminous display feature what it does is it adds um, I guess a, a greater color gamma to, to the picture so you're able to get a more uh, a bigger color range and um, it equals I guess a better picture color so the reds are more red blues are more blue um, etc you're able to hit more sectors of the red more sectors of blue um, as far as that the other features that this TV does have it is it is a dynamic edge LED um, but it does have the uh, extended dynamic range which means that it actually adds two times the brightness um, to the television. So a lot of you are familiar with, um, I guess, the downside to edge light technology, which is like you don't get a uniform screen. So now with the brightness of the screen um, being two, two times brighter, you're actually able to get more uniformity um, as far as the brightness goes um, from different part, parts of the screen itself. And um, overall, I mean, great, great set. Um, Definitely, um, definitely, I guess, a step in the right direction for Sony. Um, a lot of great things coming from them, and I'm interested in seeing more. All right, so that's it for now. Enjoy us in the next video.